Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs looking at your recent past, your current energy and your immediate future answering the question what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. As always I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages as well as the overall theme for the reading which we will jump into in just a second. I have the tarot deck we'll be using already shuffled as well as the decks that I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. But do please remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. All right, let's start by jumping into your recent past. You have cut your losses with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this card seems kind of insensitive to me, but I do feel like you've, um, you've experienced quite a bit of loss. Um, in your recent past, maybe, maybe even further back. Maybe you've just experienced a lot of loss in your life in general. Um, but you have the Wheel of Fortune, which the Wheel of Fortune is like the wheel turning in your favor. So what, I'm, what I feel like this message is saying is you haven't lost anything that's meant for you or you haven't lost the opportunity to be happy or abundant or loved or at peace or whatever the case is, even if it feels like it. Um, and that's the biggest thing is you want to make sure that you allow yourself to feel however it is that you need to feel. You know, this isn't toxic positivity. We're not talking about allowing yourself to just like always think positive all the time. That's not going to be sustainable and that's not healthy. So even if something feels really painful and really challenging, we have to remember that we, um, that our thoughts and our emotions are not truth. So even if you feel like you've lost your, you know, your ability to be happy or loved or whatever the case is, that isn't true. Um, but you know, you have to feel how it is you need to feel, process through those, those feelings and those emotions. Because in your current energy, you have support with the magician here. So you are being supported. You do have the support you need in, on the path of manifesting whatever it is you're trying to manifest. Um, of Ultimately, with the magician, just kind of being the creator of your own reality. Like, you have all of the support you need. I feel like you feel like you've lost that. And though you might have lost, like, what you, you used to rely on or it used to be a big part of your support, you haven't lost the ability for that to return or for that to be replaced or, you know, whatever the case that might be. So I do feel like you do have everything you need to create the life that you are truly deserving of, even if um, to you it feels like you've lost that opportunity. In your immediate future, I'm not quite sure how this ties into the reading yet. We'll definitely see when we pull Terra, but you have a void drama with the Nine of Swords in Reverse. This to me is your soul being called to more peace. There is a part of you that is tired of the drama. The, you know, and, and not necessarily doesn't need to be drama between people, but it can just be like the, the intense highs and lows, the stress, the anxiety, the burnout. You know, I do feel as if your soul is trying to guide you to more peace. And there might be certain things that you've had to let go of that were actually hindering your ability to, to get to this kind of point um, in your life. And then the overall theme for the reading is work through your feelings, which we already kind of talked about a, a little bit in the, you know, in the beginning of this reading. Because I do feel like we have to always recognize that our experience is very valid and our feelings are very valid. But, you know, learning to validate our feelings, work through our feelings, process our feelings without believing them is the key to actually creating that peace within. It's when we're able to say, yes, this sucks, it feels really crappy, but I can also know and believe that things are working out for the best for me, even if I have no idea how right now. But let's start by looking at your recent past. Scorpio, you have cut your losses with the Wheel of Fortune. Recent past for Scorpio, please. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, it just feels like everything really is working out for you um, in a bigger picture way. But of course, it doesn't feel like that. Reset past for Scorpio. Reset past for Scorpio, please. Ooh, Emperor in Reverse and Empress in Reverse. Control and sacrifice. So, 
the you were okay <laughs> a lot to this message you were in your recent past and this actually might be a theme for you in your life here scorpio sacrificing your needs your value your worth for the sake of something um, even like mental health, physical health, like whatever that might look like, like sacrificing parts of your value for the sake of something else. Now, that is the way that you are used to maintaining control. A lot of us have grown up and have lived a life that has caused us to believe that we are not valuable unless we're sacrificing our value in some way, shape, or form, meaning that we are over-giving or over-sacrificing or burning ourselves out or running ourselves into the ground or whatever the case might be. And we learn that starting in childhood, you know, again, throughout kind of our life, and that becomes the way that we see, perceive, and act in the world. And, you know, oftentimes when we are trying to maintain control of our reality, it typically comes from us trying to prove our value in some way, shape, or form. And when we're trying to prove our value, it often means that we are not um, standing up for our value. So I do feel like that's what was happening in your recent past, like over-sacrificing your worth, over-sacrificing your, your value for the sake of something, you know, not setting boundaries, not standing up for yourself, not speaking up about your needs, things of that nature. But there's a part of you that felt like you had to do these things. Like it was... It was to you, like, what was required of you in some way, shape, or form. Scorpio's recent past. There you are. Very overwhelmed. Very confused. Very... It's almost like... I don't feel like you really knew how to handle this situation. Like you were handling it the best way you knew how. I want more on the Seven of Cups. I, I, before I started this reading, I was going to come in and say, Scorpio, this energy feels all over the place. And that is proving to be correct. It just, it feels very um, chaotic right now, which is probably why you're being pulled to kind of a more peaceful energy. Clarifying the Seven of Cups. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't really matter, but you are showing up as this Queen of Cups. Page of Wands, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so you did, it's like you lost stability, you lost support in some way, shape, or form. Like you really took a hit here. But the reason for it, whatever it was that you lost, caused you to sacrifice a lot of yourself for it. Now, good things do require us to sacrifice. Sacrifice is a natural part of life, but you know, sacrificing our worth and like our well-being is never required for whatever it is that we want or desire. And that's where that's what you were doing here. Sacrificing your worth, your well-being, your needs. Um, and it feels like you did all of that and then kind of got the rug ripped out from underneath you in a way. And then there was this part of you that was like, what the hell did I do wrong? Like I gave so much to this. Like, I don't know, not necessarily what did I do wrong or like, yeah, like what did I do wrong? How could I have done better? Because I feel like you, whatever this was, you sacrificed so much for it, end up getting the rug ripped out from underneath you in some way, which left you going, what the hell? Which is why I feel why the loss that you experienced was actually for the best for you. Again, even if it doesn't feel like that. Reset past for Scorpio, please. Reset pass for Scorpio, please. This isn't the first time you've experienced something like this. I feel like, and I said that in the beginning, I was like, this might be a theme more for your life. Like, 
so six of cups in reverse with the temperance in reverse. I feel like whatever happened here in your recent past, like there was this energy of being very frustrated because it's almost like you were like, I can't believe this is happening again, or I can't believe, I don't know if it's like I'm right back where I started, or I can't believe that, I don't know. I can't believe I gave so much to this just for it to screw me over. And this doesn't have to just be relationship based. I mean, this could literally be any, any aspect of your life, right? But I do feel like this, whatever it is that you experienced, and especially like the loss associated with it, it's like it keeps happening or something. This isn't the first time you've experienced this. And that's why I feel like this energy is very frustrating because you're like, that's why you're overwhelmed because you're like, man, no matter how much I, how hard I try or how much I give, like, it's like no matter what I do, I always end up like in this position or I always end up feeling this way or experiencing this or whatever the case is. And I feel like there's a deeper reason for that. So let's see what your current energy is talking about with support and the magician. I also don't want you to think that I was saying like you you are a chaotic person or anything like that. I just feel like your energy is very much all over the place in some way um, for some reason. Current energy for Scorpio, support with the magician. Current energy for Scorpio, please. Yeah, so you're in this, you're feeling a deep loss, loss or lack in some way. And it's interesting because the overall energy is you have everything you need, but you definitely don't feel that way. You have everything you need to create the life that you desire. You have everything you need to be the magician, to be the creator of your life. You don't feel that way. You feel lost, you feel lack. You feel like you definitely don't have what it is that you need. Um, I feel like whatever you've lost, um, was actually holding you back in some way. I mean, it just, it's crazy how with this, you cut your losses, wheel of fortune. It's like going through intense loss, but things are working out. You feel this intense loss, but you're fully supported. It's, it's interesting how contradictory, like what you're experiencing and then like just the overall energy is. But then you have worked through your feelings. It's like, of course you feel the way you do. Like it's natural that you feel the way you do and you're not, you're not doing anything wrong by feeling the way that you do. But bigger picture thinking, right? Like maybe everything is working out for you. I mean, that's, that's, that is what I see, but like trying to think that way. Current energy for Scorpio, support with the magician. Current energy for Scorpio, clarifying support with the magician. I want to turn it all the way around or hit the table. Current energy, okay, like that. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> There's a Ten of Swords. You're in a tough energy right now. Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. But then you have Lovers, High Priestess, and Two of Wands. It's crazy how contradictory these energies are. You obviously feel a certain way or experiencing a certain energy, but then like the overall energy is like, everything's working out. But that is not at all what you're experiencing. And that is coming through very clear. But you have everything you need. You don't feel like that at all, but you have everything you need. It's so interesting. I don't know, like, I'm just going to keep pulling. Because, yeah, then it's like, you have this Ten of Swords. But it's almost like what you're going through is opening the door for what you deserve. Like the Two of Wands to me, when I see it, like to me it can be like getting into alignment with your path. But I almost see this like portal opening. It's like what you're going through is, is opening this portal to what it is you truly deserve. That's why, like, I don't want this reading to come off as insensitive or invalidating of your feelings. You, your feelings are valid. Your experience is valid. But our feelings are very rarely truth. Current energy for Scorpio, please. Support with the magician. 
You feel lost, you feel lack, but you have everything you need. It's current energy for Scorpio. It's like you're you're in this final stretch. Nine of Wands or the Eight of Wands. It's like the final stretch before forward movement, before You know, when we're closing out cycles, the closer that we get to the end of a cycle, the harder it freaking seems. The more intense things are going to feel, the more it's going to be, we're going to lack clarity, the more it's going to be difficult to listen to our intuition because our emotions are going to be all over the place. And that's this energy that it feels like you're in right now. Things feel really hard. Things feel really intense. But like, overall, everything is okay. Even if you're like, how? I don't know how. The universe knows how. The universe has got you here. The universe super has your back right now. Like you are, you are being very heavily protected through this. The universe has your back big time is what it feels like. Yeah, because whatever, whatever this was, it does feel, especially with like the nine of wands and the eight of wands, like whatever this was, was seriously holding you back. Immediate future for Scorpio. Now, this is this is interesting. The avoid drama with the nine of swords in reverse. Immediate future for Scorpio. Immediate future for Scorpio. There's the hangman and there's the magician. And the higher fit in reverse, okay. Give me a second to try to figure out how to put this into words. So this king of swords is one of my favorite cards in tarot. To me it speaks of equanimity and staying mentally certain and strong and in faith in the face of adversity. Like when it feels like everything is against you, being able to experience that, but know, like have an inner knowing of like, okay, everything, like, kind of like what I was talking about, like everything sucks, everything's hard, <laughs> this isn't awesome, but I know everything's going to be okay. Um, it's kind of what you're learning right now. And that level of faith in the universe, the level of faith in a spiritual connection of your own understanding, God, spirit, higher self, divine source, whatever resonates with you. Um, and there can be more options. That level of spiritual connection allows you to work through the human experience without all of the added suffering that comes when we trick ourselves into believing that just because things aren't going the way that we expected or the way that we wanted them to means that like our life is over or we're never going to be happy or we're not going to be okay. Um, you know, we actually create the majority of our own stress and anxiety. Yes, we have things to stress about. Yes, there's always going to be fear. But most of our anxiety actually comes from how much, much pressure we put on, like, not believing that the universe is, is supporting us. And that's the human experience right there. Like, learning to build your faith and learning to lean on that faith is, like, the whole freaking point of a spiritual journey. But what I'm getting at here with your immediate future is it's almost like through what you're experiencing, you're gaining these tools. Tool, like I don't, and I don't necessarily know what that means. Maybe you know what that means, like tools. It could be like emotional tools. It could be like literally like um, tools for a career. I don't know. But you're gaining experience that will allow you to whatever this magician is talking about to create whatever it is that you are trying to create. So this reading is the definition of everything is happening for you, not to you. Um, because I feel like in your immediate future, yeah, it's almost like, sorry, so much coming through. It's almost like what you're, you know, the pain that you're experiencing, the lack, the loss, the frustration, 
and you, you get through it, right? You get to the other side of it and you look back and you say, wow, everything actually worked out okay. And it's almost like through that process, you gain knowledge, wisdom, tools that then allow you to take that and put it into practice, which will then help in some way, shape, or form in your future. Like for whatever it is you're wanting to manifest, which is why like you have everything. Like that's why you're being so divinely protected through this experience. Is it something that you're needing to go through for sure? It needs to happen. And I feel like that reason is going to be too specific to bring up in a general reading. Like why? But what you're going through needs to happen, but, but you're so heavily supported through it because there's a, there's a bigger purpose for it. It's almost like the universe is pulling you away in this experience, pulling you away from people, situations, experiences in your life that add on the stress and the anxiety and the, the drama, if you will, so that you can create a more abundant, peaceful life for yourself. It's like you're being pulled away from what is holding you back, from what isn't serving you. Immediate future for Scorpio. Immediate future for Scorpio, please. You know, one of, I think, the most difficult aspects of being human is learning to hold the polarity of existence <laughs> we're getting kind of deep and spiritual for a second but bear with me um of like you can't have the dark without the light can't have the good without the bad you know that kind of experience of like when things are bad it doesn't mean they're bad because inevitably they're going to lead to good things but you still have to experience the bad you still have to go through it you still have to but the more that you hold on to deeper truths of like, I am being supported, the universe does have my back, you know, I am, um, I do have everything I need, I, you know, I made it through 100% of my worst days, things like that, the more that you, it's almost like this, this deeper inner peace starts to take over where you can face challenges and adversity and it, it's just not as, it's challenging, but it's not as difficult, it's not as painful. And right now you're going through pretty aggressive change. And so much of your focus is on how things are changing in a negative way, what you could be losing, um, you know, how things could go wrong, how this could end up in a, in a bad situation. And in your future and moving forward, the universe is asking as much as you can to process through the negative feelings, you know, but give more of your attention to how things could be working out for you. Because I do feel like especially with the Nine of Swords in reverse in your immediate future, I feel like when you get to where this is leading you, it's almost like you're going to be like, oh, wow, like I see why this had to happen. I see why I had to go through what I did. Obviously, right now, you're not going to be in the energy of understanding that, but it's like in your future, you will. Immediate future for Scorpio, please. Immediate future for Scorpio, please. Yeah, because what you deserve is on the other side. Of, I mean, this is the second time... We've seen this lovers, you've been out of alignment with what it is you truly deserve, which is ultimately what it is you're looking for in the situations you've lost. It's almost like this is all happening to bring you towards what it is you deserve. I feel like a big theme for this week and a lot of the readings that I've done have just been, especially for water sign readings, have been like things are working out in a way better way than you think they are, than you feel they are. And it doesn't mean that you're not valid in feeling the way you do. It just means that, you know, have a little hope, like hold on to 
what good can really come from this because I do feel like moving forward as you work through this energy, you are creating what it is you... I mean, seeing the magician, the seven of wands, and the lovers in your immediate future, like that is a very, very positive energy. And it's also very much not what you're expecting right now. It's like the universe is... You don't feel... Because you don't have what it is you need. You feel like. But you have everything you need. In order to create... I don't know. It's, it's weird how it's all coming through. Like, I don't know. The universe has your back big time right now. That you can be for sure of. You're being very supported. You're being very guided. Even if you feel lost and unsure and stuck and confused and overwhelmed. You know, work through those feelings. Absolutely. But know that you are supported. Because you are heavily protected during this time so like i do feel like if you could for a second scorpio with me take a deep breath and then just relax relax your jaw relax your shoulders relax your face relax your forehead and just like repeat to yourself i am safe i'm gonna be okay i am okay you know allow yourself to believe that amidst everything that you're going through right now that everything is going to be just fine because that's that's what i'm seeing all right, we're going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to dive deeper into these messages. This is where I kind of focus on more of the coaching aspect of my readings. So looking at, you know, what, you, what do you need to do right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self? Thank you so much, Scorpio, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Scorpio, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. All right, bye, Scorpio. <laughs>